check DTC and fill the current DTC detected by ECM. Check DTC using SDT. DTC pound P1321 and P1327. Both DTC in current. Write down the DTC P1321 and P1327. We troubleshoot P1321. Point out the uh, estimated cause of problem using the diagram. Uh, this is the uh, diagram. DTC P1321. Search the DTC in service manual. P1321. P1321 engine auto stop battery current sensor A circuit low. Trouble area electric load current sensor and battery temperature sensor circuit or connector. Electric load current sensor and battery temperature sensor or ECM. Mark the trouble area in diagram. First we mark the circuit A1, A2 and A4. These three circuits between uh, electric load current sensor and ECM. Then mark uh, current sensor. This is the current sensor. And in the trouble area ECM. We marked all areas in diagram circuit sensor and ECM and then go to uh, scan tool data select battery current and battery temperature these two data uh, we need to write in answer sheet battery current 100 ampere battery temperature minus 30 degree celsius write down the both values in answer sheet battery current and battery temperature after write down we need to go service manual for checking the standard value in or normal condition in service manual in service manual engine scan tool data and then battery current and battery temperature battery current ig on condition 2 to 8 ampere and battery temperature 5 to 55 degree celsius write down the both values in answer sheet then check with the uh, uh, current value and reference value for normal or abnormal both of the values are bad battery current 100 ampere bad battery temperature minus 30 degree celsius bad then go to uh, troubleshoot uh, p1321 step number one battery negative cable connection checker checker for proper connection of negative and battery cable connections are checked okay if okay then uh, go to step 2 check that the ignition of disconnect the electric load current sensor and battery temperature sensor connector check a proper terminal connection to electric load and temperature sensor Connections are ok. Ignition on. Check A1, A4 voltage approximately 5 volt. Checking for A1 and A4. A1 and A4 light blue wire and yellow wire. Turn ignition off. Then disconnect uh, negative terminal. Check for proper connection. If okay, 
and disconnect the coupler from current sensor we need to check a1 and a4 voltage we need to lead wire for checking a1 and a4 voltage connect the lead wire to multimeter and select to 20 volt and check battery voltage first battery voltage 11.88 volt good then connect positive probe to light blue wire and negative probe to yellow wire we connect both lead to lead wire then connect negative terminal then turn on the ignition we need a1 and a4 voltage approximately 5 volt a1 and a4 voltage 5 good then turn off the ignition then disconnect the negative terminal disconnect the negative terminal then disconnect the lead wire and turn off the multimeter power supply checking ok if check result is ok go to step 5 uh, go to step number 5 Step number 5 electric load current sensor signal circuit check. Set the ignition of disconnect E01 connector from ECM. Check the proper terminal connection to E01 connector. If connections are okay, check the following point. Resistance of A2 circuit less than 1 ohm. Resistance of A2 and ground infinity. Resistance between A2 circuit and other terminal. At electric load current sensor uh, infinity. Voltage of A to 0 volt. First disconnect the negative terminal, then disconnect E01 connector from ECM. Check for any crack, damage, deformation, or corrosion. Okay. Then we need to two lead wire then connect a multimeter. Select 200 ohm. Check lead wire resistance first. Lead wire resistance 1.6 ohm. Then we need to connect a to circuit. A to circuit wire color is green wire and E0151 pin number. We connect a green wire and then connect to E0151 pin number we first check for resistance of a2 less than 1 ohm ok write down the a2 circuit resistance in answer sheet 0 0.01 ohm good then we need to check resistance between a2 and ground infinity Disconnect the lead wire from ECM connector and connect with the body. Found open loop good. A2 and ground open loop good. Then resistance between A2 and other terminal at the electric load and temperature sensor connector. Checking A2 and other terminal at the electric load and temperature sensor connector found oil good write down the value a2 and other terminal open loop good then last point voltage of a2 circuit approximately 0 volt when ignition is on turn the multimeter to 20 volt Connect the negative terminal, then turn on the ignition. Ignition turned on. 
and check with the body for voltage 0 volt on 0 0.01 volt good turn off the ignition then disconnect the negative terminal then disconnect the lead wire then turn off the multimeter write down our a2 voltage 0, 0 0.0, 0 volt good if check result is ok go to step 6 electric load current sensor check Electric load current sensor check. Go to next page. Electric load current sensor on vehicle inspection using SDT. We need to uh, check with the SDT. So connect the uh, battery current sensor coupler and ECM connector. Then connect the negative terminal and connect the SDT then turn on the ignition in SDT select data list and select battery current and electric load we need to select both the values in SDT uh, data list then go to service manual first we need to check battery current in ig on condition we need 2 to 8 ampere battery current sensor checking in ig on first ig on condition we need 2 to 8 ampere in data list we can see the battery current is 100 ampere that is bad then write down in answer sheet and mentioned as bad then go next ig on and headlight on we need 10 to 20 ampere headlight on and ig on we need uh, 10 to 20 ampere but in data list we can see 100 ampere 100 ampere is bad write down in answer sheet as bad then we need to check ig on headlight on and blower speed selector in maximum position in that position we need 20 to 30 ampere but in sdt we can see showing 100 ampere ig on headlight on and blower on blower maximum position maximum speed 100 ampere bad write down in answer sheet 100 ampere bad then uh, we need to turn off the blower and then turn off the ignition and then turn off the headlight all the electric load uh, need to turn off then we need to check the temperature sensor in ignition off and disconnect the electric load and current sensor coupler and check the temperature sensor resistance we need to uh, get the temperature sensor resistance 1.9 to 2.1 kilo ohm at 20 to 25 degree celsius disconnect the negative terminal and disconnect the uh, current sensor coupler then check resistance between 1 and 4 first we need to check uh, lead wire resistance select uh, multimeter to 200 ohm and check first lead wire resistance for checking sensor we need to uh, select uh, kilo ohm we select 20 kilo ohm 
and then connect the lead wire to uh, pin number 1 and 4 for checking uh, temperature sensor resistance we can see uh, we, uh, we can get uh, open loop uh, bad we need uh, 1.9 to 2.1 kilo ohm at 20 to 25 degree celsius but we get uh, open loop that uh, bad then we go to uh, explain the trouble in uh, using diagram uh, first we check the uh, a1 and a4 voltage a1 and a4 voltage uh, found 5 volt and ok then check the a2 resistance a2 ground a2 other terminal and a2 voltage found good that means circuit is ok uh, then we check the uh, current sensor using uh, sdt uh, ig on and ig on blow hot light on ig and blower on all the checking found bad uh, in current sensor then we uh, check the uh, temperature sensor resistance uh, open loop bad also you have uh, get uh, two dtc of temperature sensor and current sensor both the sensor have a common uh, ground wire and this circuit is open that is the issue then uh, we need to uh, disconnect the uh, lead wire and turn off the multimeter and then uh, connect the uh, coupler to current sensor then connect the uh, negative gamble. Work is completed.